Hey guys, this is Welcome X back with another episode of More Than Meets The Name. The first trophy I'll be speaking about is Bane and Gain, for transforming Bane into Bane Venom Powered in LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. The Bane character token can be found in the second part of the Pursuers in the Sewers level. You'll have to freeze a puddle of water to form an ice statue and then melt it. The trophy will unlock once you purchase Bane for 100,000 studs, select him as the character you want to play as, and then hold the triangle button on PlayStation or Y button for Xbox to have him transform. I believe this trophy gets its name from the phrase no pain, no gain, or the variation of it, no gain without pain. This phrase is actually quite old. A form of this expression dates back to the second century to a piece of Jewish ethical literature called Pirkei Avot, which translates to the ethics of the father by saying according to the pain is the gain. Benjamin Franklin even crafted a version of this phrase in his essay The Way to Wealth by stating, Industry need not wish, and he that lives upon hope will die fasting. There's no gains without pains. Since this trophy involves Bane, who looks like the type of guy that exercises quite a bit, even though his muscular build probably has a lot to do with him using a potently addictive strength-enhancing super steroid called Venom, I highly doubt this trophy's name was influenced by what was said in Jewish ethical literature and by Ben Franklin. Based on this, the Bane and Gain trophy most likely gets its name from the phrase no pain no gain being used as an exercising motto. The motto promises that greater value rewards for the price of hard and even painful work. This exercising motto came into prominence after 1982 when actress Jane Fonda began producing a series of aerobic workout videos. If you don't know who Jane Fonda is, that's alright. I only know that she's an American actress and fitness guru because of my parents, and I think my mom used to own some of her workout videos. Anyway, in this video, Fonda would say, no pain, no gain, and feel the burn for the concept of working out past the point of experiencing muscle aches. Another possibility is that the Bane and Gain trophy is just a parody of the movie title, Pain and Gain. I'm inclined to think that the Bane and Gain trophy probably got its name from a combination of the two. The name Bane and Gain is a pun or some form of wordplay on the movie title Pain and Gain. The description part of the trophy though, with this entire aspect of having Bane transform into his venom powered form, is where the exercise motto No Pain No Gain comes into play. Every time I've seen Bane use venom to bulk up in comic books, movies, and video games, it looks like it's either at minimum discomforting or more likely a painful process considering all the roaring or yelling Bane does. Of course, I could be reading into this way more than whatever creative thinking was put into giving the Bane and Gain trophy its name, but that's for you, the viewers, to decide. The last trophy I'll be talking about is Beings from the Fifth Dimension, for sending both free play characters as Batmite and Mr. Mitsuplik in LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Batmite will appear in the Hall of Justice after completing Batgirl's second mission, and Mr. Mitsuplik will appear in the Batcave after completing Ace the Bathound's second mission. Both of these characters have missions that have to be completed for them to be unlocked and available to purchase. Once this is done, set both Batmite and Mr. Mitsuplik as your characters and you'll earn this trophy. The Beings from the Fifth Dimension trophy gets its name for the fact that Batmite and Mr. Mitsuplik are beings from the Fifth Dimension. Seems like a pretty obvious and straight to the point answer. But that really doesn't satisfy me for saying what I want to say, it barely can be used to justify why I included this trophy into an episode of More Than Meets The Name. In order to meet this requirement that I've set for myself, some questions need to be answered. Who is Batmite? And who is Mr. Mitsuplik? What is the Fifth Dimension? Let's start with the questions I hope are easy to answer. Who is Batmite, and who is Mr. Mitsuplik? Well, Batmite is an imp from the fifth dimension, just like Mr. Mitsuplik. He's depicted as a small childlike man in an ill-fitting costume to show his devotion to Batman and possesses reality-warping powers. I have read that what appears to be Batmite using near-infinite magical powers is actually him using highly advanced technology from the fifth dimension that can't be understood by the limited three-dimensional views of humans. Anyway, Batmite differs from Mr. Mitsuplik because he idolizes the superhero he targets, which is Batman. When Batmite visits Batman, he often sets up strange events to see his hero in action. This makes Batmite more of an unintentional nuisance than a supervillain, and he'll often leave of his own accord after realizing he has angered his idol. Now on to who is Mr. Mitsuplik. Mr. Mitsuplik, as I previously said, is an imp from the fifth dimension, just like Batmite. 
The difference is that Mr. Mitsuplik is sometimes a supervillain, and other times an anti-hero. He's a trickster that enjoys using his reality warping powers to torment Superman in a cartoonish way. Originally, Mr. Mitsuplik could only be stopped by tricking him into saying or spelling Keltipsium, which is his name backwards. That would send Mr. Mitsuplik back to his home in the 5th dimension and keep him there for a minimum of 90 days. This limitation was eliminated after Crisis on Infinite Earths and replaced with Mr. Mitsuplik only leaving after he willingly agrees to do so once Superman meets some condition that's been set. With that out of the way, it's time to answer the question, what is the 5th dimension? I guess before tackling such a complex question, it might actually make things easier if we start with the dimensions that come before the 5th dimension. Thankfully, I'll be stopping this physics lesson once I reach the 5th dimension, so I don't have to try and explain the dimensions past that all the way to the 10th and final dimension. The first dimension is length, or x-axis, for making a straight line. The second dimension is the addition of height, or y-axis, to the length, or x-axis, to produce two-dimensional objects, like a square or triangle. The third dimension is adding depth, or z-axis, to the length, or x-axis, and height, or y-axis, producing objects with volume, like a cube or pyramid. This is the last dimension that's directly physically observable to human beings. The dimensions beyond this are theoretical and not apparent to human beings, but can still be perceived as having a direct effect on reality and the universe as we know it. The fourth dimension is the position in time a three-dimensional object occupies. This is essential for plotting its position in the universe. This brings us to the fifth dimension, which would be a world slightly different from ours. The similarities and differences between our world and this world could be measured. This makes sense for the dimension that Batmite and Mr. Mitsuplik inhabit in the comic books. To explain why Batmite and Mr. Mitsuplik and the other imps in their fifth dimensional world look similar to human beings, this also explains any differences in appearances between human beings and imps, along with the reality warping abilities that the imps possess, or them using highly advanced technology from the fifth dimension that can't be understood by the limited three-dimensional views of humans and is perceived as near-infinite magical powers because of this. You know, I was wrong. Explaining what the fifth dimension is wasn't the most complicated part of this trophy. He was saying Mr. Mitsuplik so many times and trying not to mess up when saying it each and every time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and leave some feedback in the comments below. I'll be back with more trophies that could be deemed as more than meets the name.